You can't put that on a video. Welcome to Ironsbury Golf. Did I just say I did too? Let's start that again. Welcome everyone to another GTC course review. We're at Ainsbury Golf Club, uh, just south of Melton in Victoria's West. Um, myself, George and Jack playing 18 holes today. Just checking out the facility for the very first time. Uh, we'll give you sort of our rapid takes and our initial thoughts on the course as we go sort of head to head. We'll battle against ourselves. You won't have to worry about that. We've got some people coming up behind us um, who can go ahead of us at the time. But um, it looks an enjoyable course thus far. Looking forward to it. Now one thing that's uh, a real positive to start with at Ainsbury is their online presence. Their website already provides hole by hole sort of overviews and maps which you'll see the first hole map on screen now and it already tells us obviously per tees we're playing the whites today the wool shed 321 meter par 4 a medium length par 4 to start the round even though the landing area is generous an accurate tee shot is required yada 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 you get the idea you'll hear that across the course of the day but it's great to know that when you haven't played around before it gives you just a little bit of a leg up before you sort of head into the hole So here's the opening for the first green, and so far it has been raining only a little bit throughout the week, but first hole is in great condition. As a bit of background, we're playing this in July, so probably either peak winter season or just before peak winter season. That's a lovely shot. Ooh. Nice and open. Yeah. Already, Ainsbury. It is nice and open. I don't mind it. Oh, so short. Might be too short. Okay, we're here on the second hole, and as you can see, these ferns just ahead of us is actually a nice creek. So, it's a good starting design, to be honest. And that creek runs all the way down here into a little puddle. Just talk through Jack Swing that he played out nicely. Uh, and the puddle is what George is standing in. Not sure if you can see that very well. This could be interesting. Good effort. That's straight in that turn. I like very manicured. Everything's sort of deliberately placed. It looks it's honestly a bit So am I. Three holes in, I'm, I'm enjoying my time here. Be the, good, be the distance. Bounce up, roll on. Keep rolling. Just short. So as the fellas are playing in the background. I right definitely can. Bit of information about Ainsbury. Uh, Plus 72, 6,500, nearly 6,600 metres long. Um, $65 for a round. Um, on weekends, $35 for a round on midweek, which is a massive gap, uh, mind you, if you can play midweek. We can't hear you. So, they're through four. I've just come off a 10 on the fourth. I could not tell you anything about it. So if you want to know about the fourth, you have to ask one of the other boys. I played more of it in the rubbish than I did on the actual course. Um, to be honest, I've been just getting out of trouble. It killed me. The heavens have opened here at Ainsbury. They're through five, so this could turn into a really, uh, really long day. Um, so far, the course has impressed me. I've actually, everything seems to be really well placed, well manicured. Um, bunkers are intentionally laid out, and there is a lot of them. Uh, I've really struggled through five here. Off the round, I was open.
Yep, see it in the rain. Oh, f me. Checks out Resonance Square on the GTC. I could do it. It's just gonna break. So yeah, hole five, uh, 480 par five. To be honest, personally, par fives have been a nemesis lately. It's usually double bogey golf, which is Tiger, Tiger says, no double bogeys on par fives or just no double bogeys? I think it's no double bogeys at all. Probably no bogeys on par fives. I think it's no bogeys on par fives. So Tiger doesn't say anything to do with that. Um, Steve, on the other hand, says yeah. there's pretty much a minimum of double bogey coming with the way I'm playing. But it's okay. So a 10 uh, putted off the green back into a bunker that I just got out of, which is interesting. Uh, thankfully, that wasn't recorded on camera. Like an absolute growth corridor of Western Melbourne, or what do you want to call it? That's fantastic. Oh I still can't believe that got to come past the hole. That's pretty fun. What's been your... Uh, I guess initial thoughts. I know we've played six, so it's a third, a third of the course done. What have you thought? What have you made of it? It's felt challenging. Um, to be honest, I, I was a bit, well, I expected a little bit. Uh, a bit of family history on the course. Uh, on the during the week, talking to dad. Dad financed the course allegedly. Um, told me about the trees on the drive-in, which we don't, had every planned. Which we had all plans to. Um, film and record yep and if you're coming for the trees stay home we didn't bother because there really were no trees well there were trees but it it wasn't like wasn't worth it no that were the trees that you would see in the country so if you want to come see the trees more than welcome golf on the other hand i would i'd come out and play come yeah. out and give it a go i think all the uh the hazards are, are, are particularly placed on purpose just to make you think about your golf shot. Um, like the bunker just to the right of us here, really just takes out that left to right drive. Um, so I just have to take a little bit off mine and land just short so I can take off and hit straight to the hole. I'll tell you what it's got a feel to, it's got Lynx golf feel to it. It does have Lynx golf feel. But I don't, know, I don't know if Ainsbury have particularly marketed it that way or whether they've built it that way. I wouldn't have thought that like the type of ground, the location where it is, that it would be able to drain like Lynx Golf. Have a look at the size of the drain there. Okay. But I would say it absolutely has the feel to Lynx Golf that you would expect, you know, down the coast. Yep. Um, but it's well and truly inland. And there's a lot of, there's a lot of sand here. There's, so much sand, look at that. It's weird though, because it's obviously not coastline sand, it's like mud, dirt sand. Yeah, red sand. It's a different type of sand. So we're here on the 7th, we're in the sand, good sand. You can always tell how good a course is by how it's, ooh, that's soft sand. Is just that really a penalty? Be able to just slice the, slice the bread to get out. Are you allowed to touch the sand before you play your shot? It's for the video. <laughs> it's for the viewers at home. Yeah, fair call. You were just telling me how it was desert sand in that fairway bunker, and I must say, this is a different type of sand here. Slice the bread. Oh. Oh. Okay.
guys are in uh, well looked after condition. Bunkers are pretty good. There's bunkers everywhere. So you better bring your sand game. It's a bit thin. Yeah, oh Lord. smashed it no ball cleaners is, a, is an issue it's a very you know you can play off in the clay sometimes like i do uh no ball cleaners that's definitely something they can develop um i didn't see a sand bucket to be frankly honest yeah. um they mustn't really care about the, the course <laughs> Speaking of um, people that run out on the course, we've seen plenty of uh, sort of vacant land ready for residences to be built. If you're a golfer, I'll tell you what, and you don't want to live out in the outer west, the, uh, this could be your this could be the place for you. For all up early on a Saturday. Luckily, if you're lucky enough, you'll have a, a hole outside of par three. Wiped it. Real tricky green this one. Front pin. You can probably use the backside as a bit of a backstop if you're close enough to approach in. Always if it's some crackers out of the sand. We've had an enjoyable afternoon. Uh, would definitely recommend because we'd be coming back for sure. So I guess that's the sort of trend you'd have. If we'd be back, we'll recommend it. Um, challenging. Really challenging. Exciting. Like, is it? Is it? Sort of, there's a real change of pulse too. Like, there's nothing that's really the same. Every hole makes you think. 